Hey everyone, this is Nature Nate, and I'm coming to you to talk about the Batfin Control Max boots. These are like heavy duty Arctic boots. They're rated to negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 70 Celsius, whatever that means. That's, that's what they're <laughs> rated to. I personally haven't used them to that extreme. I've used them easily into the negative 20s and for extended periods of time. So I'll just kind of go over some of the, the general qualities and then I can talk to you about my experience. I've owned these boots for about eight years and I've done all kinds of crazy stuff in them. So I'll talk to you about my experiences and, and they've held up. So this is an eight year old boot. Again, I'm, I'm pretty much keep them in the snow for the most part, but you can tell that they're still in really good shape. And I'll, I'll lift up the, uh, my, my pant legs so you can really kind of see. I have them lower, the laces lowered down right now so I can slip them on and off more easily. But just with some basic treatment, uh, they're incredible boots. So if you can see here, it's got this wraparound rubber all the way over. And I love that because if you're chopping wood or doing things like that, or just you know climbing on rocks or whatever you gotta do in these boots, that really protects the leather. So basically where there's leather, it's up high enough that it's not really gonna be in the danger zone from getting worn out. So if you look, the rim all the way around this is all rubber the whole way around so that really protects this boot from wear and tear another interesting feature i'm gonna have to balance for this one we'll see how that goes so oh boy all right let me get a good footing here we go okay so this tread pattern this is an incredible tread pattern if you see these little striped patterns right here that's a softer rubber and it's really good on ice so they were really thoughtful in putting all these in that kind of those key points to keep you from slipping. And I gotta say, I mean, these are almost like wearing yak tracks uh, without wearing the yak tracks. It's a very aggressive tread just in general. And then you have these specific different, this softer rubber that really helps you out on the ice. So that is an incredible feature. And I didn't even realize they had done that after, until after a few years. And I, was always, I always thought they were the best treaded boots I'd ever had. And that's why. So. They're just awesome all around for that. And I'll talk to you some about my experiences now with these boots. So again, I, I fully endorse these things. I've been through all kinds of crazy stuff. I used to just go camp out in caves in the winter and build shelters, uh, sleep next to fires. And this was my boot for five days straight living in the snow. And these things never got cold. Um, there are some management techniques you have to do when you're doing that. Of course, they're gonna build up condensation. I personally kinda, of, I have a sweaty foot, so I lose a lot of condensation out of my feet. So that's something I'm really conscious about. And how I manage that with a boot like this is you can take out this inner sole, or the insole, and then I would just sleep with the insole on in my uh, sleeping bag. So that would allow it to kind of breathe and get rid of a lot of that moisture while still keeping my feet warm. And hey, extra bonus warmth in your sleeping bag. So, uh, and, then, and then another thing, I would leave the boot just open um, without the insole. And then if you have to go to the bathroom at night, you can easily just slip them on. And yeah, they're a little cl clunky. They're huge boots, they've got a huge profile. Um, so yeah, you kind of feel like you're in clown boots, but then it's easy to go out and go to the bathroom at night when normally <laughs> you're not super inclined to get out of your warm sleeping bag when it's super cold out and, and go to the bathroom. It's kind of a pain. So another nice thing about that huge profile, uh, you'd think that it might, kind of hinder the, the use of the boot because you'd be tripping over things all the time. But the weight of the boot is really well managed and it actually seems incredibly light on your foot. I've got to say, they've got to be pretty lightweight in general, but just because of how the weight's dispersed and distributed, it feels so light. You hardly even notice they're on your feet considering you're wearing a giant boot. And then it also gives you a bigger imprint, a bigger surface area on the ground. So let's say you're walking on ice or something, that tiny bit of extra surface area, though it doesn't seem like it's a lot, it's enough to keep you more buoyant. So I've had it where you get that snow crust on, on the surface and my friends would be punching through, but I was able to stay on top because I had these big, big surface area on, under my boots. So they're really great for that. Um, back to, hey, I've worn these things, awesome. They're great. I've worn them through all kinds of crazy conditions, long-term in the snow. They've never, I've never had issues. My feet don't get cold in them. I can't say if they go to negative 94 because that's a pretty hard uh, condition to mimic, but into the negative 20s, no problem. I haven't had any issue. The modern ones, the, I've had these long enough, but the modern ones have a, uh, a little D-ring on the, 
top so you can put your gaiters and clip those to them as well. So that's a really nice feature. And then I'll just show you, hopefully I can do this without falling into the snow. Um, so here's the boot and it has this in, insole and it's got the uh, like the mylar reflective material. So that's really good. It's um, super warm for that. And it's let's so it's got mylar all over. It's really insulated. It's got it's a super thick padded. And again, this is after eight years, and they still look pretty good. And then if you look on the inside of the boot, it's got that honeycomb kind of. Let's see if I can get close enough. There it is. So it's got that honeycomb kind of uh, pattern on the bottom, and that's in order to help dissipate the moisture. So they really thought this out. It's a Canadian company, and if you could imagine, the Canadians really know their boots and they have to deal with a lot of cold weather. Uh, this boot, I got a little bit, I got on the bigger side for me. I wear a 10 and a half to 12, depending on shoe. I got this one a full 12, and I could have gotten smaller, but in my opinion, when you're dealing with really cold weather, you, you wanna have a little bit of extra room for things, because then you can, just the more air you can trap in there, and the more places for the moisture to go and then escape, the better. So I got them a little bit big so I could wear bigger socks. Not always good, you don't always wanna wear bigger socks. It doesn't always make it warmer, but uh, it allows for the moisture to escape a little more easily when you have a, a more, more gap, more space in your, around your feet. And it also allows you to layer if you need to underneath the boot. And again, it, it adds to that surface area that I was talking about to keep you on top of the snow and things like that. So uh, these boots, yeah, they retail for about 250 super worth it. I've treated them, I don't know, a half dozen times at most, and they still, I mean, they, they, when you look at them now, now that I'm kind of looking at them a little more up close, yeah, they've got some wear and tear. I mean, but yeah, I've, I've been, basically these have been like forestry boots for me too in the snow. You Cutting down wood all day, cutting down trees, cutting wood up, because when you're in that cold environment, that's a, a lot of what you do is build fires and stay warm. So they've been doing that and with that reinforced leather toe, you can kick things, not really have to worry about destroying the leather of these boots. So anyway, I love these things. They are incredible boots. And for an Arctic style or if you're doing winter backpacking or a hunting boot or something like that in the snow, they are so nice. Haven't treated me wrong. I've had them for about eight years and they still make me happy. So gotta say, great boot. Thank you.